have five amazing tips I want to share with you on how to get longer and healthier hair, so you're not going to want to miss this video. Tip number one, take care of your hair while you're sleeping. You may be wondering, how can I take care of my hair if I'm asleep? Well, don't worry, it's easy. Just don't wear any sort of tight braid or tight ponytail in your hair, because that tension will actually cause breakage. Another thing you can do is ditch your cotton pillowcase and get yourself a silk one. Why? Well, because it's a softer surface than your normal cotton, it actually causes less friction when you sleep on it. So when you wake up, you're going to have shinier and healthier hair. Also, a little fun fact about silk pillowcases is that it doesn't just make your hair happy. It actually can prevent facial wrinkles. Tip number two, healthy hair starts with a healthy scalp. How do you keep your scalp healthy? Well, for starters, don't apply conditioner directly to your root. The reason for this is because some conditioners have wax and silicones in them that actually can clog your pores. So if you do this on a regular basis, it makes it really hard for your scalp to breathe. But something you should apply to your scalp is an oil treatment. One that I really love is made up of the following ingredients. One cup of coconut oil, one teaspoon of almond oil, macadamia oil, and jojoba oil. The best time to do this treatment is when you're in the shower and your hair is already damp. So you put the treatment in and then you leave it for 10 minutes. Then you just continue with your regular routine, shampoo and conditioner. All of these oils combined actually fill your hair strands with fatty acids, and then when you shampoo and condition it, it seals it in your hair. Tip number three, use a cold water rinse. Using cold water at the end of your shower will actually seal the outer layer of your hair. This will prevent moisture loss and heat damage, and although this may seem like a small extra step, in the long run, it'll make a big difference in your hair growth. Tip number four, never skip a condition, but try to skip shampoo. A good rule to follow is that whenever your hair is wet, make sure you condition it. Because conditioner is actually used to rebuild the proteins in your hair and to close your hair cuticle. So this is going to prevent any future damage. On the other hand, shampoo is actually meant to remove dirt and build up. This is a really positive thing, but if we do it too much, then it starts to remove all the healthy oils in our hair that actually keeps our hair strong. So when using shampoo, feel free to scrub your scalp and your roots really well with it. Then when you get to your ends, make sure you don't rub it in because it can actually open your hair cuticle and cause damage. Tip number five, scissors are your friends. Although getting regular trims isn't actually going to lengthen your hair, doing it is a necessity to having healthy hair. This is because when we remove our dead ends, it actually decreases the chance of our ends splitting higher up on our hair shaft. If you were to allow this to happen, it would actually mean that you have to get more hair chopped off when you do get it cut, instead of just remaining consistent with your trims every 10 to 12 weeks. Okay guys, we've come to the end of the five tips, and I know this is a lot of information to take in all at once, but if you stick with this hair care routine, you'll notice a huge difference in your hair growth and health. If you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want more videos like this one, please subscribe. See you next time! here if you want to know how to do a braided bun in one minute and click down here if you want to know how to do <laughs> three cute braids in literally three minutes.